What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It has been such a long time since I've made a tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to cover a couple tips that's going to help you speed up your editing process because that's what we do here on this channel. And you know me, let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into it. So tip number one, live save always. So live save by default, in 17.2, it automatically turned on that function for you. So let's say you're working on something and all of a sudden resolve crash, it happens and uh, or your computer crash, your files or your project is safe. And this is on by default before you actually have to go into the settings and turn it on yourself. Another tip is if you have been using Resolve 17 already, this is already in there. You can preview your video transitions, effects and stuff like that. So hypothetically, if you wanted to put a, a video transition between these two clips, you go to the top effects library and you can just hover. So say I want it to dissolve. As you can see, when you move your cursor from left to right on that effect, it will automatically preview it for you. You don't actually have to put it onto the timeline to see what the effect would do for you. The next one is pretty cool. Now this would definitely speed up your editing workflow. Normally what we do is we drag the transition and put it right between the two clips. You don't actually have to do that anymore. You don't have to put your cursor right in the middle of the two clip, just next to the end of the first clip or beginning of the second clip is fine and double click on the transition that you want and it will automatically put it there for you how awesome is that and it works with the beginning as well say you want it to fade in double click on cross dissolve and there you go it'll fade in for you so just imagine, you know, you've streamed for three or four hours and you have four hours worth of content to edit. Imagine chopping everything up the way you wanted and now having to go and add the effects in individually. That's going to take up a lot of time. Imagine now all you have to do is just kind of have that playhead just close to the end of the first clip or beginning of the second clip. So I'm just going to put it somewhere close to there and click there you go pretty cool right just this feature alone is going to speed up your editing workflow tremendously and last but not least you can edit mkv format videos the cool thing about that as you all know if you are streaming using obs studio is you can record in mkv the benefit of recording in mkv is that say you've recorded three hours worth of gameplay and all of a sudden obs crash or your computer crash or your game crash and you have to restart you have to manually restart your computer. Say you recorded in MP4, all of that's gone. So the cool thing is if you did record in MKV, it will save all the way up to the moment OBS crash. And you can imagine that would save you a lot of time, a lot of gameplay, a lot of streams. Because of the update in Resolve 17.2, I would recommend recording with MKV format. And that is it. That is it, guys. If you find this material useful, please hit that like button and share it with others. And on that note, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.